So yeah, I eat ants sometimes. You eat ants? Yeah, I do. Oh, here's the guy I told you about. What? Who's that? This is Mick Dogo. His job is to make sure that none of these cardboard boxes fall over. He's damn good at it, too. Ever since we hired him, not one box has fallen over. Not one box? Not a single one. Impressive. Oh, thank you. You are a great box stopper from falling over. Just doing my job. Hey there, Mick. My name is Max. Oh, hi, Max. My name is Mick. I know, I know your name is Mick. So how long have you been stopping these boxes from falling over? Well, when I was eight years old, I saw this box falling over, so I... I kind of reached over and stopped it from falling over, and, and then I thought, Hey, I can do this for a living. And now you're... Yep. Yeah, he is. Uh-huh. And he's good at it, too. Yeah, I know. Yep, you heard it from me. I'm having a stroke. You need my cop skills to save your daughter! And I need your doctor skills to save me, doctor! What do I do, cop? I'm a cop, not a doctor. You're the doctor, doctor. I'm not a doctor, cop. You're not a doctor? No. I'm a cop, too. We will be right back to Doctors and Cops after this. Hello? Mick, where are you? I'm watching Doctors and Cops. I'm at the Chinese restaurant. Bitch. Oh yeah? What are you doing there? Oh! Uh, it's our 20th week anniversary. Damn it, why do we have to celebrate anniversaries every week? Because you're a little bitch who does what I tell him to do. No, I'm not. Okay. You really need to learn to remember these things instead of thinking about cardboard boxes all the time. Hey, stopping cardboard boxes from falling over is the only thing that I'm good at. And if you don't like it, then, well, I don't know. Come work for me and my dad. No, I'm not going to work for my girlfriend's father, let alone a purse designer. Oh, that reminds me. Reading at my parents' house tomorrow. Can you remember that? But your parents are always mean to me. They say what you need to hear. Not again. What do you want? Oh look! It's the little engine who was a queer! Come on, I'm trying to sleep, guys! Then go to sleep! Ho 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 ho! Well, I can't really sleep when you're shining bright lights to my window and calling me names. Uh, well, we're just hanging out. Uh, and there ain't no law against hanging out. No, you're waking me up on purpose, just to be assholes. Oh! And I have to get up early tomorrow, so please stop. Okay, we'll leave you alone. Thank you. But only if you say, I'm a little girl, and I like full-grown men. I like having illegal sex with full-grown men. I'm a 14-year-old girl who wants to have sex with a 34-year-old man. I'm not saying that. Well, then we're going to be here for a long time. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm a little girl. And I like full-grown men. And I like full-grown like men. I like having illegal sex with full-grown men. I like having men. illegal sex with full-grown men. I'm a 14-year-old girl. I'm a 14-year-old girl. Who wants to have sex with a 34-year-old man. Who wants to have sex with a 34-year-old man. Very good! Okay, there. You happy? There you go. That's how you do it. Okay, I said it. Yeah, well, we're still not going anywhere, Mick. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Aliens? Yeah, aliens. They've been waking me up every night and saying mean things to me. Then they fly away. It's getting really annoying. I think the best idea is to just ignore them. Then they'll probably go away. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I'm surprised you believe me. Oh, I don't. So, how's the girlfriend? Uh, well, she's, uh... Is she still a bitch? Yeah, that's what I was just about to say. I'm telling you, Mick. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to break up with her or kill her. Preferably kill her. I'll help you. Well, we're just going through a rough time. You've been saying that since you first started dating. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Just stab her in the back with scissors and get it over with. So what are you building? A spaceship. Why are you building a spaceship? Uh, because I want to go to space, maybe? So, Laura, how's work been? Well, you're my boss, Dad, so you already know. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you've been doing all right. What about you? You still a loser? I'm not a loser. What do you think, Laura? Is he a loser? Yes. My daughter thinks you're a loser. <laughs> I'm not a loser. You still working in the back of that grocery store? Yeah. You're a loser. Complete 100% loser. Okay, Laura, can we leave? You need to hear this. Ah! What the hell? Hey, you sit back down. She threw a plate at me. If you touch my wife, I'll rape a dog. You hear me? If you touch my wife, I'll be raping some dogs. Honey, throw another plate at him. What? So, Mick, you ever gonna come work for me? Like I said last time, I'm not interested. <laughs> of course not, because you're a stubborn prick. I'm doing fine just on my own. <laughs> Make purses with me, Mick. <laughs> Make purses with me, Mick. No. Make purses with me, Mick. Make purses with him. <laughs> Make purses with me, Mick! Make purses with him! Laura! You need to hear this, Mick. You need to hear this. Make purses with him! Um, uh. Make it a purses with me, Mick! Make purses with him! Make purses no. with him! Make purses with him! Make purses, make with, purses him. with me, Mick! Make purses with him! You better not leave this house! Okay, dog rape time. Queer. Yo, queer. Hey. Wake up. We just want to tell you something. We're not going to be mean this time, I promise. Yo, queer! Hello? Hey! Damn it! I don't think he's awake, guys. Hey! Ignoring them actually worked. The aliens just gave up and flew away. Good for you. You still don't believe me, do you? I think you're lying. I think you're making all of this up. Why would I do that? That's what I would like to know, Mick. Okay, okay, enough about aliens. Yeah, enough of the lies. Oh, how did that dinner go with Laura's dad? Did he chase you down the street in a helicopter again? No, actually this one wasn't that bad. They just threw stuff at me. Oh! Well, maybe he's starting to like you. Oh, I doubt that. 
He thinks I'm the biggest loser ever. He keeps wanting me to come work for a stupid purse company. Maybe you should. It'd be better than that stupid cardboard box job you have right now. It's not stupid! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's my destiny! You don't have to yell in my garage. Have you been having problems with aliens? Call Timothy Stack, alien detective. He'll get rid of your alien problem. You seeing aliens? Call me! Hello? Where are you? I'm at home, why? Ooh! You forgot again? Our 21st week? Already? You're so pathetic! Shit! Shit, shit, shit! Where the hell are my keys? Ugh. Does it have to be every week? I think once a year is just fine. Oh yeah, let's just make it even harder for you to remember. Good idea. Well, people usually do but it- But people usually- Uh. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. My friend is eating with us today. Uh, a friend? What friend? Jake! Laura, and you must be Mick. Laura talks about you all the time. Really? Yeah, she's always trying to get me to kick your ass. But I'm not a fighter. I love too much. Aw, you're too sweet, Jake. Oh, my name is Jake, by the way. Jake Balls. Your last name is Balls? No, it's Toothbrush. Of course it's Balls. That's what I just said, dumbass. Laura, who is this guy? We work together. Him and my dad are like best friends. Oh, really? Well, how come I never knew about him? I don't know. I didn't really think it was a big deal. We're just friends. Just friends who might be having sex all the time. <laughs> Wait, what? You need to hear this. How long have you known this guy? I'm Jake. I know that. How long have you known this guy? Like... a month? You don't have anything to worry about, Mick. I'm a good boy. <laughs> sure you are. Yeah, <laughs> I am, I swear. So what do you do for a living, Mick? He works in the back of a grocery store. I stop cardboard boxes from falling over. Oh, so you're kind of a loser, huh? He is. Uh, no. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, goober. Take that, <laughs> cocksucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you do? Your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Mick. You're easy to mess with. You just take it. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Loser. Mick! You suck! I would like a large pizza, half cheese, half gay. The gay half is for Mick. <laughs> Mick Dogo is a big homo. Ooh. So, Laura, how's work been? Dad, I work for you. You already know how work is. We go through this every time. That's boring. Are you looking at me? No. In my house? No. So, Mick, what's your favorite color? Uh, probably green or... Maybe even orange. Ah, uh, nice. Hmm. Mine's medium light gray. What's going on? We're gonna light you on fire. <laughs> what? That's right, honey. Get it all over him. <laughs> 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 
That's it! I'm never coming back here again! Don't let him run! Don't let him run! Damn it! Mickey! Hey, Steve. What's going, man? Eh, I'm just having some girlfriend problems. That's all. Oh, the bitch! Yeah. I think she's cheating on me. Oh, well, a woman is like a dog. If you don't like it, all you have to do is drive her to Delaware, leave her there, and get a new one. She won't know how to get back. Her whole family hates me, too. Uh, I know exactly what you're going through. Each and every one of my girlfriend's families hated me. They would always say, stop peeing on us, but I didn't stop. No one can stop the Steve. Last night, my girlfriend's family tried to pour gasoline on me and light me on fire. Oh, one of those. Yeah. Well, you know why they do that. Why? Well, because you pee on them. Uh, no. I've never peed on anyone before. Really? Yeah. Well, like I said, man, Delaware. Thanks, Steve. No problem. Also, you're fired. What? Yeah, you're fired. Max, the guy you met last week, he thinks that we don't need to pay somebody to stand around and stop cardboard boxes from falling over. So now you're fired. That's the whole reason you came over here to talk to me? Yeah, well, I was gonna tell you right away, but then you started talking about your girlfriend. I actually had it all planned out and everything. I was gonna walk up to you and say, Hey, Mickey, what's up? And you were gonna supposed to be like, Oh, nothing, what about you? And I was gonna be like, Oh, nothing, just firing you. And then you started talking about your girlfriend and ruined it. Man, your life is a suck. Yep. A big, fat, juicy suck. I already knew that. Well, you can always work for your girlfriend's dad. I told you, I'm not doing that, ever. You should, though. You don't even have to tell him that you were fired. Tell him that you quit. Be like, yeah, I quit my old job, and now I'm gonna come work for you and show you how much I kick ass. It'll be your chance to prove yourself to them. You know what? You're actually right. Of course I am. So do it. You know what? I think I am. Yes! 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 Well, yeah. What are you doing? I'm eating. Good. What? What is this? What's going on? Whoever is doing this, stop it. Ah! I am a purse designer. Now stop. I design purses. I am a purse designer. I create purses. Now stop it. Stop it. Says me, the purse designer. Oh, God. I'm sitting here with David Murphy. He's depressed. Aww. Hi, Dr. Pickles. Oh, David, what's wrong? My mom died. Oh no, how did that happen? A tree. A tree? It fell on her, you know, a tree fell on her. Yeah. Aww. That's horrible! Can you reenact the noises that she made after the tree fell on her? Uh, okay, uh... She was... She said... Ah! I mean, there's a tree on me! David, help me! I'm trying, Mom. I just... I'm not strong enough. I'm not... Strong enough. Aw, <laughs> uh, yeah, indeed. The audience is right when they say aw. This must be tough to handle for anyone. Even a strong black man would be sad. 
especially a strong black man, because strong black men love their mothers. Yeah, so that made me really sad, and I've been crying a lot. Well, David, you won't be crying anymore, because I know exactly what you need. Yeah, what's that? Pickles! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 What the hell am I watching? Howdy. Mick! What? <sighs> Damn it, our 22nd week? No, you idiot! My whole family's dead! What? How? I don't know! It looks like somebody exploded their house! Exploded? Yes! Exploded! Everywhere! Oh, you mean exploded. Yes, that! That's what they did! They exploded! How the hell did they explode? Damn it, now I'm saying it wrong. Nobody knows! <laughs> My family's dead! Exploded. I just wanted to make sure I could say that word right. You can! Well, do you need me to come over? Jake's already on his way over! Oh, you told Jake this before you told me. Jake loved my dad. You hated my family. They tried to catch me on fire. Did they ever try to catch Jake on fire? No, because Jake didn't hate them. Bitch! So I guess working for Laura's father is out of the question now, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Don't worry. You didn't need that stupid job anyway. Yeah. Where's your girlfriend, anyway? I think she's with that Jake guy. Right now? Yeah. And you don't even care? Well, I don't really think I have anything to worry about. I, I, don't, I don't think she'd do anything like that with him. Mick! You're an idiot! He's so banging her! You think so? You're an idiot! Yeah, he is, definitely! Stop calling me an idiot! You're an idiot! He, he's got her like, he's, he's got her like this. He's got her like, he's got her like this. Like this. Like that. Like oh, that. Oh, come on. I think I know if they were. They're doing this right now. Oh, What are you oh, doing? Uh, oh, uh, oh. Stop uh, raping uh, my couch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. You, you must be oh, stopped. No. You're having sex with my couch. Don't you see this? That's what they're doing right now. You're a wild animal, Jeff. That's what they're doing right now. Don't you even care? This is what they're doing. No, she wouldn't do that. And get off my couch. Okay, fine. I bet every night after she's done yelling at you, she goes home and has sex with him. That's it. I'm leaving. But this is your house. We're just friends. Just friends who might be having sex all the time. <laughs> Where's Jake? I'm gonna kick his ass. Why? I'm gonna kick his ass. That's why I'm gonna kick his ass. Where's he hiding? Under the couch? <laughs> Nobody would hide from you. Where is he? He left an hour ago. Well, the next time I see him, I'm breaking his face. His face will fall apart. I'm capable of a lot of scary, horrible things that nobody's seen yet. He's trying to steal you from me. He's not trying to steal me away from you. He's just a really nice guy. I wish I could say the same about you. You guys are having sex, aren't you? What? All the time. Sex every night. Sex. You're crazy. I am crazy. Crazily angry. I'm not cheating on you, Mick. Oh, okay. Now go away. All right. Have you been having problems with aliens? Call Timothy Stack, alien detective. He'll get rid of your alien problem. One night aliens came and took me into their spaceship. They probed me. They probed me hard. Uh, the funny thing is, the spaceship looked just like my basement, and the aliens looked just like my father. Uh, so I called Timothy Stack, uh, alien detective, and told him to help me. 
uh, Timothy uh, Stack killed my father and then uh, uh, probed his dead body. Uh, ever since then, I haven't had any problems with uh, aliens. I, I think Timothy uh, still has my dad's dead body. I, I'd like that back. You seen any aliens? Hello? Call me! Huh. I wonder who that can be. Ah! Yeah! Ha! You want a piece of this? Huh? Hmm? No, I don't want a piece of that. Because last night you seemed pretty sure of yourself that you did want a piece of this. What? I heard you say it. I was in Laura's closet. You couldn't see me because I was in the closet. She lied to me. She didn't want me to make you bleed all over her floor. But she can't stop me now. Get over no, here. No, no, no. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, my puppies! Uh. Uh, look! I was just having a bad day! You're being violent! Uh. Uh, don't pour that cereal on me! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I did to you. I got milk all over you. That's freaking funny. This is boring. Adios. Oh, no. Don't pour the milk on me. Don't pour the milk on me! <laughs> you need a rematch! A rematch? Yeah, man! He's banging your girlfriend all the time and you're just gonna let him get away with it? <laughs> I can't fight him! He throws tables! Oh, he's a table thrower. Yeah. Oh, well, you just gotta duck, man. Duck? Yeah, man, just go like this. And it'll fly right over you. But let's say I do fight him again. If I lose a second time, I'm gonna feel even worse than I do now. You're not going to lose again. Not with my training. I took karate on the internet. Here, come here, come here. I want to show you a few things. Come on. All right, now, check this one out. Oh, you're gonna have to pay me for this, by the way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't have to pay me. Well, it's up to you, really. I'm not giving you money, Jeff. Alright, this one's called... The Lizard Punch. I am a lizard! Ah! Uh, okay, that was pretty good. Here's another one. It's called... The Surprise Party. <laughs> Nobody remembered my birthday! Oh, oh my god, Surprise Party! Uh! <sighs> this one is called Smell His Hair. And then Bite His Neck! <laughs> okay, okay, okay! I'm ready! I'm ready! You sure? Yes! Alright then. I'm a lizard! Hey! What do you want? Where's Jake? Why do you want to know? Because I'm going to fight him! You're just gonna get your ass handed to you again. Not this time. I'm ready this time. The first time he fought me, I was sleepwalking. I wasn't even awake. So of course he won. But now I'm going to fight him awake, and I'm ready this time. Tell him to meet me at my house tonight at 10. This time I'll be awake. What the hell is that? So, the little bastard biscuit wants a rematch. Yes. I gotta hand it to you, Mick. You really do suck. After I kick your ass, I'm going to do your girlfriend. The only thing you're going to do is bleed. 
All right, you want round two? Okay, baby, let's do this. But this time, I'm not gonna leave you in a pool of cereal. I'm gonna leave you in a pool of blood. And maybe even a little bit of semen. Let's end this. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> See you later, queer. No! Damn it! But that's a good thing. No, it's not. I was going to win a fight, but then the aliens, the stupid aliens. Well, I say you find these stupid aliens and beat them up. I can't. I can't reach them. Besides, they have lasers. Oh yeah. Yeah, the lasers. But I think I know of someone who can help me. Well, it looks like you have yourself a Fractoplots problem! A Fractoplots problem? Mm-hmm, and they are annoying. Let me tell you, you do not want to have a Fractoplots problem. Hard to get rid of the damn things, but it can't be done! So, how come they killed my girlfriend's family and the guy she was probably cheating on me with, but they haven't killed me? Well, because they think you're pathetic. See what the Fractoplots do is they go around looking for the most miserable person they can, and then they kill all the people who've been making that person miserable. Why do they do that? Hell if I know! Usually it's because they want something in return from you! What, what would they want from me? I don't know! But you don't have to worry anymore because Detective Timothy Stack is on the case! After you pay me the $200 for just sitting here at my desk for five minutes. What is this? My credit card? I don't want that! I want money! Howdy! Hey Mick, it's Steve from work. What's up, man? Nothing, just eating some paschetti. Oh cool, my favorite! Anyway, the reason I'm calling is because you might be able to get your job back. Oh, really? Yeah, you see Max, uh, you remember Max, the guy who didn't want you here? Uh, he died a couple nights ago. Died? Yeah. What happened? He blew up. He blew up? Yeah, he blew up. <laughs> so now you can probably get your job back. How did he blow up? I don't know, he was walking out to his car the other night after work, and then- <laughs> I never really pictured him as a blowing up kind of guy. He always seemed very, uh, anti-blowing up. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Does your paschetti have meatballs in it? Um, no. Just, um, noodles and, um... Tomato sauce? Yeah. Nice. Well, I'll keep you posted. Alright, sounds good. I mean, not good that he died. That doesn't sound good. That's sad, even though he fired me. But I didn't want him to die. You know? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What do you want, Mick? Hey, Laura. You okay? No, I'm not okay. The only decent guy I knew is dead. Oh. Well, have you seen any UFOs lately? What? Like, spaceships? You know, UFOs? Spaceships filled with a bunch of aliens? That kind of UFO. No! Okay, but if you do, just run from it, because it's probably about to kill you. Just saying. Why do I always end up with the weird ones? No, it's true! The aliens have been blowing up everybody who's been making my life horrible. They blowed up your family, they blowed up Jake, and now they- Hello? Laura? Laura? Hello? Are you trying to make me think that we're losing connection? 
Because I know you're making that sound with your mouth. It's pretty obvious. Well, I can't hear you, so I guess I'm just gonna hang up. Laura? Hello? Uh, Timothy Stack? Yeah, that's me! Hey, it's Mick. I, uh, I understand I'm on some kind of, a uh, waiting list. I would just like to know what number I am on that list. Uh, like, uh, 71? Good God, bad Jesus. How much longer am I going to have to wait? Uh, well, I could bump you up if you really need me to. I really think I do. Someone I really care about might be in danger. Oh, really? Is it me? What? Am I that person that you care about? No, I'm talking about my girlfriend. Oh. She's been an evil whore the whole time I've been with her, and I'm afraid she's going to be the next to die. Oh my! Well, the bitch probably deserves it! Let her die! Being mean to my boy like that? Huh? I'm just saying! A person who doesn't make you happy isn't worth being around! But she does make me happy. Like, when she's in the other room, or not near me at all. Okay, fine! I'll bump you up! It's gonna cost an extra 50 bucks, though. You know, with all the rearranging and stuff, it's it's such a pain in the ass. Like, like, like a spiky alien penis. Up the ass. I would know. So this is where you guys eat every week. Every damn week. At the same damn table. In the same damn chair. Every damn week. Ordering the same damn stuff. Sometimes we don't even order anything. That's weird. I thought you didn't like Chinese food. I don't. I hate it. I hate the stuff. I hate Chinese food. And now... And now every time I think of Chinese food, I associate it with my girlfriend. And now I hate Chinese food even more. Hmm. So, do you think these alien things are going to come after me now? Nah, I doubt it. You're a pretty good guy. Okay, good. Are they still waking you up at night? No, not really. They're just killing everybody I know. Ah. Well, I hope you can stop these bastards. Me too. Killing is bad. Hey! Did I tell you I finished the rocket ship? Oh, no, you didn't tell me that. Oh, well, I finished my rocket ship. Well, congratulations. Have you tried it out yet? Uh, no. I've, I'm kind of afraid to. It's just been sitting there in my garage. Huh. I don't know when I'm going to try it out. I don't know if I ever will. It's kind of scary. Well, I'm sure you will eventually. When you're ready. Do you want it? What? No! That's your rocket ship! You built it yourself! Don't get rid of it! Okay. I just don't know what to do with it. Well, you fly it. Into space. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. I am a lizard! Ugh! Tim, what do you want? It's time! Time for what? Time to kick some alien ass! So, this is where they usually come at night? Yeah, but they, they haven't been visiting me this week, so I don't know if you're going to have any luck tonight. Well, we'll see about that! Ugh! You are a loser! You're pathetic! You can't cook! Your house is ugly! You're ugly! What? Shut up when I'm talking to you! I am going to rape you! Right here! In your own backyard! No! Yes! It's going to happen! It really is going to happen! It worked! Hey, cocksuckers! 
Well, now what do we do? Kick my ass! What? Do it! Uh... What the hell was that? I don't know. Hit me in the face! Really hard! Like you mean it! Mick! I'm sorry, it's hard for me to hit you. I kind of consider you as a friend. Mick! I hate you! You're failing miserably at this! Okay, I'm really going to try to hit you now. Ha! This was a bad idea! I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm trying not to hurt you. Like I'm trying to hit you really hard without hurting you. Well, something worse is going to happen if you don't hurt me! You have a red dot on your face. Oh yeah? Yeah. Can you at least try to explain it to me? No! No, 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 What? Laura, I need you to come over right now. No. Yes! I can't. Why? I feel like... Somebody took my guts out of me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, put your guts back in, because I need to talk to you. Right now. Fine. Want some cheese balls? No, I don't want any cheese balls right now. All right. I see you've been wiping cheese ball crumbs on yourself again. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I have. Why do you do that? It's so gross. Uh, because I'm a 25-year-old man, and if I want to rub cheese ball crumbs all over myself, then I can do that. You've been wiping it on your coffee table, too? Yeah, well, it's my coffee table, so... It's on the walls! Yep, I got it everywhere! It's all over the house! Whoa! Do you want cheese balls now? I don't want any of your cheese balls, and I never will! Okay, fine! More for me! What are you doing? It's immature! I'm embarrassed for you. You have cheese ball crumbs all over your face. I know I do, and that's how it's gonna be. Why the hell did you want me to come here? Oh. Well... I think it would be best if, you know, we just... Aliens. <laughs> the cheese balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you bastard. Where the hell did you go? She belongs to us now. What? See you later, queer. 
<laughs> Give her back! No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, cut it out, Dick. Hey, Jeff, wake up. Huh? What? What? What are you doing here? Why is there bacon all over your bed? What I do in this bed is nobody else's business but mine. Fair enough. I need to use your spaceship. Laura's in trouble. My spaceship? Why? They took Laura, and your spaceship is my only way of getting her back. But I'm afraid. And small. I'm small and afraid. So am I, Jeff. But now it's time to be big and brave. Big. Tall. And brave. Oh, shit. If this thing works, in a few seconds we'll be traveling 15,000 miles an hour. What if it doesn't work? We die. The jets explode, we burn alive, we die. Alright, let's do it. Okay. Uh, is it working? Uh, I think so. We're flying, aren't we? Yeah. Are the jets blowing up? I don't think so. Ah, what was that? Holy shit! Whoa! Where's the spaceship that took your girlfriend? I think it was heading north from my house. And by north, I mean up into space. Hey, Mick. What? Do you want to know why I sleep with bacon? I'd rather not know! Are you sure? Because I'll tell you if you want me to. No thanks! Holy shit! What? There's a huge thing on my radar. That must be it! We're flying right into it! Mick. In case we die. I don't want to know why you sleep with bacon. Okay. Where the hell are we? I'm confused. Laura! Oh, hey, Mick. Laura, what are you doing? I'm being duct taped to a pole. What are you doing? I'm saving your life. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. That's why we're here, bitch. You're going to save my life. Yes. You're going to do that all by yourself. Uh-huh. Jeff, are you coming or not? Uh, nah, I'm good. Right here. Where? What? Hey, Mick, where are you going? Surprised to see you, queer. It's nice to finally see your face. I bet it is. We have beautiful faces. Beautiful faces? Mmm. What is the point of all of this? You really want to know? Yes. 
Because your girlfriend is hot. So hot. So hot. What? She's hot. Ow. Hot. Hot. So hot. And we want her all to ourselves. You mean the whole point of all of this was to steal my girlfriend? Yeah. She's so hot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, then what was the whole point in killing her whole family? They were a bunch of dicks. Dicks? Penis. All of them. What about Jake? Why did you kill him? He was a dick. 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 What about the guy who fired me? Why did you even bother- Dicks. Because- Dicks. Dick. He had way too much hair. Well, why didn't you kill me? Because you are a sad little man, and we like to pick on people with low self-esteem. We're dicks. 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 You guys were right. My human mind could never understand this kind of logic. But now you're all up in our spaceship, embarrassing us. You couldn't just let it go. So now you're the little engine that was a dick. 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 I'm the little engine that's going to kick your ass. <laughs> Mick, you are a funny guy, but you can't win. So we're gonna give you one last chance to leave. Actually, no, we aren't because we're bastards like that. You die now. Oh snap! I am Shock Fractiplot. I have the power to shock. And I. And razor frack to plot. I shoot razors out of my mouth. Blah! Shock! Fire! Turn on your superpowers now! Wait a minute. Fire? Where's fire? Oh, yeah. There was a third frack to plot that had fire superpowers. But he had a heart attack. And died. Over there. Oh, well! Turn on your superpowers now! Ah. Ah. Oh. oh, Jesus! Oh no! Pack him! Ah. No. Ah. Stop it! Stop it! Ah. 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 You are being pecked now! Ah. You're being pecked now! Ow! Oh. You're being pecked now! Oh, he pushed me off! Pushed you off! Ha! Ow. Mick! Hey, Mick! Do the scorpion suplex! Do the German dolphin powerbomb! Do the fireman cradle slam without the camel clutch! I've trained him well. You will not stop us, Mick! We want to do sex with your girlfriend while being naked on her! Done yet? No! She is mine! All mine! I don't even have the share anymore! So you actually did something good for me! I don't even care! I'm glad you killed him! Well, you're next! But the only way you can kill me is is if you push this button on my chest. Uh yeah. What? You gotta you gotta push this button. Oh, that button? Yeah, you gotta push this button. And then I'll die. But you'll never make it close enough to me! Not little Mick!
What happened? What's going on? I think we're going down! to the pole I did it if I did it you mean killing the only people who knew how to fly this thing then yeah you did it Laura what I want to break up with you I want to break up with you too I hate you Laura I've hated you for a while now So we're done! For good! Yes! Forever! Jeff. Uh, everyone's dead. Hey. Uh, uh, Jeff. Oh. Hey, Mac. Get off the ground. Uh, that's embarrassing. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Thanks for saving my life, Mick. Get the hell out of here, you whore! I'm sorry for destroying your spaceship. It's okay, man. It happens. No, seriously. That was your spaceship. And I took your spaceship and flew it into an even bigger spaceship. Then I took that bigger spaceship and crashed it into the ground. Hey, man. I'm just glad you're not dating that skank anymore. Besides... I have a better spaceship now. Really? Did I ever tell you why I wanted to go into space? Uh, no. I don't think so. Why did you want to go into space? There's a moon girl on the moon that I love. A moon girl, a man, and a moon girl, separated by 240,000 miles of nothing. So I built this spaceship to go to her, but then I got scared. But when we were falling through the sky in that spaceship, all I could think was, damn it, I'm never gonna see what's her face who lives on the moon. But I'm not afraid anymore, Mick. I'm going to go see my moon girl. Well, good. Come here. Goodbye, Mick. Goodbye, Jeff. Hello? Mick, it's Steve. Hey, Steve. Listen, we need you back here as soon as possible. What happened? All of the cardboard boxes have fallen over. Each and every single one of them. We don't know what to do. What do we just pick them all up and put them all back in their original positions or what? Oh God, please help me. Oh God. Okay, stay calm. I'll be there soon. Oh, thank you, Mick. We're going to give you a, a $50,000 raise. $50,000 every month. Oh, wow. Thanks, Steve. I really don't know what to say. Say Uba Duba. Uba Duba. Say Uba Duba. Uba Duba. Now you get your sexy ass over here. Yes, sir. <laughs>